When you look at this battery, do you think freestyle? Well, after today, you might. Hey everybody, I am Bacon Ninja, and if you're like me, you spend a lot of time flying quads like this. Big 5-inch full-size quads. This is what we think of when we think of a freestyle quad. And it takes batteries that look something like this. Kind of big, a lot of voltage, a lot of cells, but there's a lot of power here. What if we looked at this battery? Does that scream freestyle to you? Well, I'm about to show you something that I think might set that tone for you when you look at something like this. And that is this 1S Freestyle toothpick build that I'm calling the Pork Chop. The Pork Chop is a 3-inch 1S build based on the Baby Tooth from FPV Cycle, the Baby Tooth frame and the build that Bob Ruge put together for that. It's based around the Baby Tooth except for it is a two-plate freestyle design using the Beta FPV HX115 LR frame. So it's a little bit different than your traditional toothpick in that it's not just four arms sticking straight out. This has more of a carbon fiber lace work frame and a top plate for a top mounted battery, which gives you a little bit more of that freestyle feel. So digging into the specs on this build, we are again using the HX115 LR frame from Beta FPV. Inside, I've got a Darwin FPV ELRS SPI AIO with 15 amp ESCs. The cool thing about this AIO is it doesn't actually use a ceramic antenna. It uses a full size ELRS antenna, which I have stuck out the back of this build. For the VTX, I went with a Happy Model Diamond style VTX. It's an open VTX capable of up to 300 milliwatts of output power. For the antenna, I'm just doing a standard right hand circular polarized that I had laying around. This is actually something out of one of the HD0 Freestyle VTX kits that I didn't use, so it went to work on this quad. The camera on the front is the Cadex Ant Nano camera. This is, again, an analog build. The motors are FPV Cycle 13mm motors in their 1S variant, 11,400kV. And uh, yeah, this thing will book it pretty hard. It is a quick little quad. In fact, I took it out back and... Uh, ran it through some paces in the alleyway. And this is just a couple of back and forth pulls down my alley since it's a nice long straight stretch. And you might not be able to tell from this DVR footage because it is analog DVR, but this quad is booking it pretty darn quick. And these are just gym fan by blades, 3018 props on these 1S 13 millimeter motors. And for 1S, it is really cooking. And that's really the secret sauce in this build, is that the 13 millimeter motors combined with the 1S voltage and the high KV and these particular props, again, not even running prop screws, trying to save a little bit of weight, really does cook. This thing weighs about 65 grams, which is a little bit heavier than what's spec for the Baby Tooth builds, but that's okay because it is a freestyle quad. It doesn't have any fling still, even though it's a little bit heavier, but it, it I promise you it freestyles just fine but that is the secret sauce is really the motor combination with the props and the weight but i wanted to take a little bit of a different stab at it and make it more of a freestyle rig not an underslung battery like the baby tooth uh, i wanted that top mount battery for freestyle i don't know if this is something that people are really interested in a small little freestyle quad but i can tell you the benefits of this are tremendous you can take this to a park and you can rip around the park in 1s completely safe, well, you know, relatively safe. It's got 1S of power. The chances of these little props with 1S on these little low torque motors hurting anybody is super low unless you catch them just straight in the eye. In fact, while I was back in the alley, I did a little orbit around my legs just to kind of see if I felt terrified to have a quad orbit my legs with just, you know, prop to skin potentially. And it was just fine. I haven't hit myself with it, but Everything's worked out just fine. Again, this is a 15 amp AIO, uh, so it can handle a little bit of crashes. The AIO in this from Darwin is rated for one to three S, so the ESCs are made for a little bit more power than I'm actually even putting in this, which is kind of nice. You can see that I have a little bit of grain in my analog footage from the Ant. I think that's because the Ant's minimum voltage is five volts. Of course, one of the websites that I got it from said three, three point, 3 volts I believe so I thought it would go lower than 5 apparently it is 5 
and the step up transformer for the five volt regulator on this 1S quad is adding that noise. So there's not a lot I can do there. I think that going digital with this will be great. And the whoop light from HD0 is definitely destined to be in this quad. But what do you think? Do you think a little three inch park ripper that's nearly silent, weighs almost nothing and has really low risk of hurting anybody would be good for your fleet? I think that it's a lot of fun to fly. It gives you a little bit of practice at something different than five inch. Whenever you're working with something you're not used to that's maybe underpowered or a different weight uh, or just the bi-blades versus tri-blades, it kind of teaches you a little bit about how the quad mechanics work. You're forced to learn a little bit about how to fly the particular quad and it actually helps you translate those skills into the bigger quads. So I find that flying something like this, getting some stick time in on it even in your backyard can be really helpful for a five inch freestyle. But again, I can take this out to the park can be almost silent. You can you can really not hear this when you get more than 10 feet away from yourself with these little bi blades. You can be almost silent, super stealth. You can fly the whole park with Express LRS. 300 milliwatts in the VTX is plenty for park flying. You can get out quite a ways and not have any video problems or controlling problems. All on 1S. And I fly it pretty hard. I get about three minutes out of the 550 mile packs. Your mileage may vary. But... I, that's fine for me. I'll just buy more packs. If you're into a lot more distance and range and those things, then something like a baby tooth toothpick might be better. It's a little lighter. You can carry a little more pack. You can go a little further. But for me, I wanted the freestyle feel. So let me know in the comments what you think about a build like this and if you've ever built anything like this. And on that, I will say that building a quad like this in the micro scale is not for the faint of heart. And if you haven't done it before, I don't know, if you have a lot of years of soldering under your belt, maybe. Some really tedious, tiny, tiny, tiny soldering in here. And you can just make the slightest mistake and burn components right off the board with your soldering iron. So you have to be very, very careful. There aren't any motor plugs on this AIO. It's all soldered together, which I have, oh, I don't know, 15 years of experience soldering at this point. So it wasn't too terrible for me. It was still a little tedious, but if you're new to soldering and you built a few five inch quads, I don't know if I'd try to build this. But you can buy the HX115 from Beta FPV already built. It'll have a little smaller motors, but it's something to get your feet wet in this little market of three inch freestyle ripping quads. And if you wanna build this, I will have a list of the parts that I used in the video description below, along with links to all of those parts. And if this video has been helpful, if you've enjoyed taking a look at this little quad with me, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It's growing way more than I ever expected, and I appreciate all of you out there watching. But I am going to leave you with a solid pack of me ripping this thing at the park today. It is one of the first flights, or actually it is the first flight that I took after I got the tune done. And if you are interested in building this, like I said, the list of parts below. If for some reason you would like the CLI dump, just let me know and I can put that somewhere and maybe you guys can use my tune for this thing. But anyway, check out this footage, this full pack rip. Make sure you watch to the end because it's the best part. And until next time, I'll catch you later.